people. We are here for another episode of the Slip Angle and arguably what might be the fastest car, most powerful car we've ever tested here at Lime Rock. This C7 Z06 Corvette. I'm losing my timer here. Why are my paddles working? stuck in traffic here. What a violent car. Understeer, understeer, turn baby, turn. It feels like the front and the rear are fighting each other. Oh, we're just held up in some serious traffic. This thing is bonkers. Okay, I don't know how much horsepower it makes. I think it's like over 600. It's the auto box, as you guys are seeing with the paddle shifters here. Um, these are, I think standard tires are like all season tires, I'm not sure they're not anything particularly super grippy. We need to get a clearing of space here. But man, what a rocket ship to this back straight here. No bite though, we're understeer, understeer, using that power. Jerky, jerky rotation. Oh, I'm in third gear. It's forcing me in the third. As suspected, this car kind of struggles a little bit on the slower sections. Uh, I'm just in a bad spot here. I gotta, I'm pulling off because I don't want to get stuck in these guys anymore. This is going to be a challenge to get a lap time in this that's clean. I mean, even on these laps in traffic, the car's going pretty quickly already. Right, we're going to try to get in here. Violent acceleration. The box is a little bit slow to shift. Downshift. Struggling for traction here, but. We're trail braking a lot to get that nose tucking. one pretty fast this car has definitely got a 37 in it even on these tires which is pretty remarkable it's a handful though let me tell you you know it's definitely not nearly as refined as I thought the c7 Corvette would have been given given having used to own a c5 and seeing how unrefined they were um, it's still very brutish it's still very point and shoot that transition of like mid corner where it's between oversteer understeer is very abrupt it kind of only wants to be more point still driven like a point and shoot car so it's the same old formula big engine big tires big grip All right, we're gonna... the gearbox is not how i thought it would be i'm in the manual mode but it doesn't seem like it wants to shift when i'm telling it to shift i'm almost tempted to put it in the auto But man, when you goose that gas, it's just like, Ugh, here we go. Downshift. A little bit of understeer there. Woo! 
rocket power. We don't get held up in traffic here. Come on, baby, turn. Stuck in traffic again. Man, this thing catches up pretty quick. I know it's got more time in it. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. Whoa! There it is. I knew it had a 37 in it. 37.9. It's so interesting, like driving a car with big engine, big power like this. I still feel like there's traction control on. Oh shit, <laughs> cut, the, cut, the, cut the grass. They're not like that. Let's see if we could do a handling impression. So coming into the, to the skid pad here, we got a lot of understeer. I can't tell if there's driver aids intervening with me or what. Feels like traction control's intervening a little bit. Under, under, under. Just like my C5, it's just still very leery at that limit. It's just washing out these fronts here. I feel like there's some sort of traction control on. It says, it says it's not, but it just doesn't want to rotate how I want it to. So it's set up to be driven serious. It's not as playful as I, I thought that they would have made it. A lot of new cars, they kind of add some more playfulness to them. It doesn't really seem like they've done that with the vet. I just get washed out here. Which like, just doesn't want the, I don't know if it's power related or what. Can't, I can't pitch it how I want to. Having a clutch would certainly help. I'm really just kind of limited to weight transfer and throwing it around with the box, but uh, very interesting car, quick, and I'm sure if he had his summer tires on here, they'd be very, very fast. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna call this one here. This car would probably be a fastest car that we've ever tested with his grippy tires. Um, even with these, it broke into the 37s, which is pretty remarkable. But once those fronts started getting hot, we losing, we're losing grip and it's just washing out the front. So I can't even really like play with the balance too much of it. It's just under steering and plowing everywhere. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a very fast car and it's quiet and it's comfortable. So it's got that going for it. It's not like, not like the JDM cars that we all know and love on the channel. So that's it for this one, guys. Here's the owner right here. Rich, you want to say hi real quick before I close this video out? Oh, he's, he doesn't want to be on it. All right. So that's it. That's, that's our review of Rich's car. Excellent time. Very quick, very quiet, very comfortable. 
I'm ready for my white sneakers, my shorts, and my tucked in white t-shirt. Jean shorts. Done. <laughs>